So, I mean, I'll admit the FDA's approval of resmitiram as the first therapeutic agent for fibrotic, non-serotic mash truly marked a significant milestone in the field. However, we have to acknowledge that there are considerable unmet clinical needs remaining, particularly for our patients with MASH-related cirrhosis. And that's because currently we don't have any pharmacological therapies that are specifically approved to treat or reverse cirrhosis associated with MASH. Although I'll admit that the therapeutic pipeline seems very promising. So what that kind of leads us or leaves us with right now is that the management strategy that we employ for these patients is largely focused on either optimizing their behavior health or lifestyle interventions, improving their cardiometabolic health, um, mitigating risk factors for disease progression, such as eliminating alcohol, and really just monitoring for complications of cirrhosis. 